Uh, welcome to the Whiskey Vault. Rex! I'm Daniel. Um, so, we got sent a gift. From people that are generous in gift giving you. Yes. Wyoming, something is different about this. We're going to do things. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we're drinking uh, another gift whiskey from uh, David DeFazio. David DeFazio, you make it the best. So David DeFazio is co-founder of Wyoming Whiskey. He sent us this whiskey. Oh, so that was extremely kind. That David and the crew at, uh, that, at Wyoming. That David DeFazio. Yes. Now oh. this is one of their exclusive uh, releases of the uh, well, limited, I should say, because only went to certain states. Yeah. Of their sherry finished Wyoming bourbon. Okay. Um, because we both love. We loved the bourbon. Loved the. Bourbon. And they said, "Well, you should try." The sherry finished one, so they sent us a sample version, and then he sent a full bottle. I'm sherry and, on the nose. And um, my God, is that good? Sherry on the nose. Um, and it is. Now, the cool thing about this was Nancy Fraley, sort of known in the industry as the nose, yeah, uh, is a master blender in the American in American whiskey circles, um, among other things. And she, what the hell uh, is this paper? I know. I accidentally printed on fancy paper. I was using it for diplomas, and then I forgot to swap it out with the normal paper. Oh, I know, right? Nancy said had this to say about this whiskey that it finished. So what she did was they were looking for a sherry finished one, and, and the, the, she hand selected. Um, I think it's Pedro uh, Pedro Menez yeah. cherries, right? And then they aged it. Now you said the first time they aged it was too long, uh, and it didn't come out well. And the second time they did it exactly what they needed to, and this is what they barreled. Um, getting bright honey in the sherry. Yeah, now Sam Mead is the master distiller. Nancy Fraley was the one who was uh, assisting them with selecting when these things were ready. This is going to be a sweet bomb is what it smells like. <sighs> now, what I loved about the Wyoming bourbon, if I remember correctly, was that it was smooth and friendly, but it wasn't boring. No, it was not. It was. It had it, complexity. And it wasn't a stereotypical bourbon. Mm -hmm. My God, that tastes like sherry. A sherry bourbon. I mean, that's exactly... That's a sherry bourbon. <laughs> it didn't take it in any direction you weren't expecting. It landed right in the middle of... It landed right in the middle of sherry and bourbon. That's sherry and bourbon. Can we compare the... This is dark. Can we compare the Wyoming? Yeah, we have to. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm losing my memory. So the only difference between this sherry Wyoming bourbon and the bourbon that you're getting is this was... Finished in sherry. Yeah, look how look how little. Wet that, <laughs> when we did the video on this, this was almost full, if I remember correctly. <laughs> um, okay. Now I will say um, right up front, the sherry to me makes this a little more one thing instead of a wide complexity it's that like I remember from the bourbon. That sweet sherryness wraps around everything else. Yeah. Yeah, man. Brighter. More lively and more nuanced in the original bourbon. Yeah, there's a little more subtlety in that bourbon. This is not. Uh, this is rich. Now, the, uh, the Nancy rich says sweetness. Uh, black currant, toasted nuts, in, figs, dried apricots. In the sherry. Yeah, um, candied orange peel, vanilla, and molasses. You know what? I'm like a minute in. I'm preferring the original bourbon right now. The sherry finished is not bad. Right, but all the things that I love... It is so sweet, though. A lot of the things I love about the bourbon, they, they're getting lost in that sherry sweetness. Yeah, they're sort of gone now. And maybe if I was more of a sherry fan... Yeah, unfortunately, both Rex and I, even the scotches, we don't really lean towards the sherry scotches. Man, that's rich. That is dessert in a glass right there. That is so, a... Um, like, if you wanted to finish a, a really wonderful meal right. with a dessert beverage, you could drink this neat, and it wouldn't be too sweet... Uh, but it would be the nice touch of like... So, whenever I started on the sherry, uh, finished bourbon, it was like a light honey mm -hmm. coming off the original bourbon in the back. Now it's all dark. Now it's like a condensed dark honey. Mm -hmm. Even when you move the bourbon around in your mouth, there's no real bite to it. Mm. But when you move the sherry version around in your mouth, th there's a bite to it. So now I want to compare the sherry to just an ultra classic, the definition of bourbon bourbon. Because this isn't, you know, typical bourbon. This is... It's their own thing. It's their own thing, and I love it. I feel like you're, um... I feel like you're really testing the mooch boundaries. Carolix 73. 
<laughs> hey guys, greetings from. You need to find something. <laughs> you, um, I'm, I'm buying you time so you can find a classic <laughs> bourbon. First of all, let me say I'm loving your channel to the extent I wanted you. You're still. You're. Um, I'm you're making room. You're making. I'm room. running out of glassware. You're what making I'm room out of. for the bourbon you're getting right now. Mm -hmm. I love your channel to the extent I wanted to convince my buddies who are not into whiskey to uh, so much to start following it as well. I made this grand master plan that I would ask them for a poker night combined with whis whiskey degust. Do you know bigger words than me? Degustation. Degustation. That's a all right. Five dollar word, bro. I'm more like in the fifty. Now cent I think range. I think fifty cent words for me. I don't know that. Uh, before he's from Poland, so English may not be his first language. Or he knows it better than me. Or he knows it better Which than me. Which is Rex. entirely possible. Yeah. <laughs> Before that, I wanted to share with you guys my idea and convinced uh, you to answer on the show what the best number of whiskeys for a tasting is. Ah! Playing the video with a YouTube celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> we you are YouTube celebrities, no, really Rex. not, man. Yeah. We're minnows. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> um, Playing the video with the YouTube. Uh, What's a wow factor? Ex expert answering my question would be a wow Thank factor for, for the degustation. Again, yeah. we gotta Google that. What does degustation mean? It says Doug. <laughs> <laughs> what is. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Is the careful appreciative tasting of various foods. Whoa! Whoa! Nailed it! <laughs> you know English so much better oh, than me. Oh man! <laughs> wow, the mooch got spanked. <laughs> you did not know either. <laughs> well, how am I the one getting spanked? Because I pretended to know. So thank you for ruining uh, the. Oh wait, Rex, here's me. your comparative. Anyway, keep up the good work. Here's your comparative whiskey. Oh, Akashi. So like, what the hell, dude? That's the Japanese type of thing here. No, what you're actually going to find is that's a classic bourbon. Classic? Mm -hmm. It's bourbon-y. No, that's classic bourbon. So for me to confirm, I'm going to need you to pull off an American no, classic that is, bourbon. That is an American classic bourbon. Did you put it in a weird bottle? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? That is Old Granddad 80. Okay. All right. Old Granddad. I was going to try to pull it out during the uh, Halloween edition. We forgot. And, I, and we forgot. We, also, we forgot lots of things yesterday. We forgot to wear each other's necklaces. Yeah, I forgot that too. The Old Granddad is a light bright sherry. The sherry cask is a dark rich honey. And the Wyoming bourbon is there's the eucalyptus. Ooh, the and the Wyoming, Wyoming bourbon? Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. Now that we're coming back to it. Ah, damn it, now it's so good. Now it's, it was like damn amazing before. Oh this, yeah, but following Granddad and Sherry, following coming Grand back to it, the classic bourbon is damn fantastic. It's hard to beat that. <laughs> whiskey for breakfast. So I have a mooch story Rex might enjoy. I got into whiskey okay. a few months ago, largely because of you guys. Uh, sorry, no, sorry. And naturally, I've been trying to get my friends into it as well, since whiskey is always better with friends. Mm -hmm. But I also had the ulterior motive that if they got into buying nice whiskeys too, I would be able to mooch their whiskeys. That's true. For they science. Would, they wouldn't be mooching mine all the time. Well, this finally paid off a few weeks ago when one of my friends calls me up and says, Dude, I got this new whiskey that you have to try. And it turns out his dad bought him a $90 bottle for his birthday. I was able to mooch a pretty significant amount of it. Not sure if what was extra, it? if extra mooch points are awarded for mooching someone else's birthday present. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's 075 percent bonus points. Oh, 0.75. That's not bad. Yeah, no, it's, a, it's a good ROI. Yeah, but if not, they should be. the The whiskey in question was Westward Single Barrel. Oh, well then, well done, my friend. Which you guys should totally try. Westward is fantastic. For me, it was uh, by far the woodiest whiskey I've ever tasted. Like a gnawing on a tree branch levels of wood. Uh, I'd still, I'd be interested to see what y'all's more refined palates would be able to get out of it. Cheers and keep up the good work, guys, Alex. I'm down for some degustation. Me too. So can we join your uh, poker party in uh, Poland? I'm thinking of it right now. You want some degustation with the West? No, 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 dude. That's what the hell? Deep. I can't do it. <laughs> I just can't do it. I gotta draw the line somewhere. All right, so you gotta have boundaries in life. Do you? <laughs> do you have? Uh, an altered, an alternate opinion uh, than me. This was the Granddad Classic. Yeah, it was okay. The Sherry's this big honey sweetness. Um, I, it did feel like it wrapped all the complexity around with one kind of sherry finish. Right. And so there was still the heart was still that bourbon. Right. That we know and love, but um, the sherry sort of took over. It's you, like a chocolate covered 
uh, coffee beans still taste more like chocolate than like coffee. And coming off the heels of the classic bourbon and the sherry finished Wyoming, and then coming to the Wyoming, the, the regular bourbon, Right. I loved it even more, which goes to show you the things that you had moments earlier are going to dramatically affect uh, yep. what you're tasting. It's a thing, it's a but thing. the sherry is a damn fine thing. Now, if you love sherry bombs and you thought that was only possible in Scotland, you need to track down this bottle. Okay. Tomorrow's episode, Trash Can Cam. Oh, tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday. We're launching it on a Thursday? <clears throat> oh, oh, that's disgusting. Uh, here's to fighting. Wait, that's you. Here's no. What is that me? That's you. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. I'm confused. Maybe you shouldn't have any more. No, we, I'm, we yesterday's episode threw me off. I don't know who I am anymore. I'm having an identity crisis. You know what? I did a preemptive dad joke the, the episode before this. Uh huh. I felt dirty. You felt dirty. It was a dad joke. Yeah. All right. Here's you to fight. fighting, stealing, and drinking. Start it over. You f it up. Here's to fight. <laughs> Going home. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys later. Oh, right in the face. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.